Hi, this is Ty. In this video, I'll show you a quick and easy way to create this effect in Photoshop. First, open Photoshop and load the image that includes the object you want to make glow. Adjust its size and position to create a balanced composition on your canvas. Next, use the Quick Selection tool to select the glowing part. Before clicking, check the top options bar and make sure the mode is set to cloud. This setting helps select fine details more accurately. Once you've made the selection, press Command and J on Mac or Control and J on Windows to duplicate just the selected area onto a new layer. Now add a new solid color fill layer above the duplicated layer. Choose white for the color. This white layer will act as the source of the glow. To apply it only to the object, create a clipping mask by hovering your cursor between the two layers and clicking while holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows. This ensures the white glow appears only within the shape of the object. However, the object may still be visible in the background, so let's remove that. Hide the upper layers by clicking the eye icon beside them. Then add a new layer above the background and use the Remove tool, also known as the Content-Aware Delete tool. Make sure that Sample All Layers and Remove After Each Stroke are both checked in the Options bar. The Remove After Each Stroke setting will automatically select everything inside the enclosed area and remove it cleanly. Also set Generative AI to Auto. Trace around the part you want to delete. Once the background looks clean, it's time to make the glow effect. Select both the white fill layer and the object layer that was clipped to it. Hold Command or Control and click on each to select them together. Then press Command and E or Control and E to merge them into one layer, and immediately press Command and J or Control and J to duplicate the merged layer. Then convert the duplicated layer into a smart object. Now go to the Filter menu, choose Blur, and then select Gaussian Blur. Adjust the blur radius depending on your preference. Hold Command or Control and click the thumbnail of the original cutout layer to select it again. Then add a Brightness and Contrast Adjustment layer, and increase the brightness to the maximum. In the Properties panel, raise the Feather value to make the brightness fade more softly. At this point, the glowing effect is complete. If it still feels off, you can refine it further. Try adding a Gradient Map Adjustment layer to change the color tone. You can download free gradient resources from a site called Resource Boy. The link is in the video description, so be sure to check it out. If the gradient effect feels too strong, reduce its opacity for better balance. It looks cooler now. If you want to create a different vibe, you can add a texture using the filter gallery. Before doing that, merge all the layers and convert them into a smart object. After merging, go to the filter menu and choose filter gallery. In the lower left corner of the panel, make sure to select the option called Fit to Screen. This will let you preview the texture fully. In the Filter Gallery, try adding effects like Graphic Pen, Grain, Diffuse Glow, or Halftone Pattern to create a cool look. And that's it. By following these steps, you can create a glowing effect that really stands out in Photoshop. Give it a try. Subscribe for more creative tutorials. You'll find me on Instagram and TikTok, and my posters are available for purchase too. All the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next week.